Windows Steady State. Now this is a neat little program from Microsoft. Uh, simply download it and run it. Accept the license terms and you need to validate your copy of Windows. Now this runs on Windows XP and Vista, 32-bit machines only and the NTFS file system, not FAT32. Now installation doesn't take very long. Uh, click next. If you want the Windows Live toolbar, leave that ticked. Personally I'll untick it because I don't like toolbars. And click finish. On your desktop you will have this little icon which is Windows Steady State. Double click to open it and you will have the user interface and the help me file which is quite comprehensive and gives you a lot of information. Uh, it shows you all the different settings and scenarios that you can create. Now if, if we go to the user interface global computer settings will come to in a minute. You can add a new user, export user, import user. Now computer restrictions Privacy settings. Do not display usernames in the log onto Windows dialog box. If you have multiple users, you may want to tick this box. Prevent locked or roaming user profiles that cannot be found on the computer from logging on. It keeps your privacy intact. Do not cache copies of locked or roaming user profiles for users who have previously logged onto this computer. Security settings. Remove the administrator username from the welcome screen. If you do this, you will need to press Control Alt and Delete twice to log on to the admin account, which won't be listed. Remove the shutdown and turn off options from the log on to Windows dialog box in the welcome screen. If you're a solo user, you may want to untick this. Do not allow Windows to compute and store passwords using LAN manager hash values and do not store usernames or passwords used to log on to Windows Live ID or the domain. You can prevent users from creating folders and files on Drive C. You can also prevent users from opening Office documents within Internet Explorer and you can prevent write access to USB storage devices. You can turn on the welcome screen on Windows XP only. Uh, I just check the four boxes I have above and leave mine set at that and click OK to come out of that. Schedule software updates. Now here this is for Windows update. You can use Windows Steady State to automatically download and install updates, pick a time and a date to suit you, or you can not use Windows Steady State and do it yourself manually. Security programs, it tends not to find any. Uh, custom updates for your antivirus and things like that then you can add them manually by going to your computer go to the program file and open up the updater and that's what I will do here I will install that or open it click OK and my antivirus will update there now protect the hard disk this is the most important part Windows Disk Protection is not installed, uh, you need to reboot for this, but choose a level of Windows Disk Protection to remove all changes at restart, Recha retain changes temporarily until a specific time and date, or retain all changes permanently, which is useful if you're downloading new programs and installing them, or updating software. You can change the cache file size, and you can also turn off the administrator warning about losing changes before logging off, restarting or shutting down. So we will turn this on and this will create a large cache file on your main drive. Now it's important to have defragmented before you do any of this. So read my blog post which will give you the information you need. So we'll click yes and it will install the drivers and create the cache. Now you need to reboot to complete the installation and that will take a few minutes. So we just click OK and I've come back. I've started to download a potentially unwanted program which is System Security 2009. I will install this program and I will allow it to run. Now there's a lot of these around that get downloaded by various methods 
and people then look for solutions to remove them. Uh, what I will also do is put some files, folders, images on my desktop and make it pretty cluttered and I'll just select all of them and drag and drop them for another drive onto the desktop and I will allow system security to run its scan and find these non-existent trojans and rogue software and whatever else it finds which should be quite interesting because it's a clean drive you know, as you can see it's finding a load of it and trojan downloaders and backdoor trojans and so on continue unprotected I'll close this and come out of that. Now my desktop as you can see is pretty cluttered. There's System Security 2009 there's a screenshot of my desktop with the extra files, the folders all the images and the unwanted program which is malicious itself. Now at this point all you have to do is restart and what I will do is restart click OK and you then have two options continue and remove all changes or save changes and then continue well I want to remove all the changes so you just click OK and let it reboot now when I come back this is my desktop the potentially unwanted programs gone all the images files and folders are gone it takes a few minutes when you reboot if you've saved your changes uh, but it's worth it for the disk protection that you have it protects your hard drive if you want more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk